Oh yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The following contest is the Money in the Bank Ladder Match. To win this match, the winner is the superstar who climbs up the ladder and retrieves the briefcase with the contract inside of it to be cashed in over the next year, anytime, any place. Making his way to the ring from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 213 pounds, Adrian. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. The Enforcer, Solo Sokoa. And representing the Bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! Solo Sokoa is a single-minded and unfeeling destroyer inside the ring. Or outside the ring for that matter. Solo doesn't care where the fight starts. He'll just make sure he's the one to finish it. The Almighty is here. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. This is how you make an entrance, carrying yourself with the utmost poise and pride. Lashley holds himself to the highest standards. It's propelled him to multiple world titles in main events. A promising young talent with a lot of swagger. And from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! This guy has future star written all over him. The winner of the 2021 NXT Breakout Tournament, multiple-time NXT North American Champion, and unified that title with the Cruiserweight Championship. He's got a cocky attitude, but a bad habit of backing it up. Mello ready to do something special. It's the KO show. 
Oh, man, Owens does not look happy tonight. And from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Throughout his career, KO has let it be known he will fight anyone, anywhere. Truly, Kevin Owens has no hint of feet. Time to feel the Grayson Waller effect. I'd rather not. And from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller! Already quickly risen through the ranks of NXT. Never afraid to pick a fight, though there's no guarantee he'll actually fight fair. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. Corey, walk us through the strategy these superstars should employ in this Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, you've got to get the ladder first, but that's easier said than done. The key is to look for the opportunity to incapacitate your opponent and then get one. The problem is, the ladder is not just a means to an end. It's a serious weapon in the hand of these competitors. Now, no question, Byron, but at the end of the day, it's all about finding a way to get it set up and having enough time to climb to the top to clean the shoes. A chance at the title. Basement drop kick. He saw it coming, taking advantage. I got a tied up and a headbutt from behind. Ladder matches are unpredictable. We all know that. But if you can pick your spots and prepare for the fact that you're going to endure punishment, you should be able to survive and hopefully come out on top. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Squaring off right by our announce table. Down to Owen. And a double axe handle smash. Hoping to compromise that knee joint completely. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. On the top. Display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Put in a position now. All right, look at this. There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least get out of the entire ring. And the punishing streak of Sokoa just got a bit halted. Wait a minute, Larry. Laser focused on the knee and taking it out with precision. And from the example you just saw, there is no good landing to a brain buster. Sakoa holding him at bay. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Nice step up in Sakoa. Right in the ear. Set up in the corner of the ring. Big splash in the corner. And the onslaught continues. Springboard elbow. Oh, a double knee face buster. Certainly doesn't possess any lack of creativity when it comes to how to use the ladders as a weapon. Caught in a bad position here. Body slam. Uh -oh. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. We cannot forget how much fighting spirit it takes to keep going after taking one. Will we see that spirit to fight back? Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. And now, power bomb onto the apron. The adrenaline is pumping. And Rearing way back. Samoan spike. 
And that should create an opening. Opportunity now to make the climb. And he gets set back into the ring. Delivering elbow after elbow. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd and Thank you. 